home. They basically talked to Niall the whole sound check. I'm gonna start crying. These people are really gonna judge me. <laughs> Jenna's me. Hey, yeah. We're together. Kansas City on a Wednesday. Hello, good morning. So today is the day of the Nile concert. I haven't vlogged in so long, so I'm really excited to vlog today. I'm currently just about to leave for school because I have school today, which is super tragic because if I wasn't going to school, I'd be getting there early. I'd be having time in my life. Okay, you know, I don't think I should bring my vlog camera to school. So um, I think I'm just going to temporarily part ways now. I just got back from class and now I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready for the concert. I'm not gonna like obviously redo everything. I'm just gonna redo like my makeup. See how quick I can get ready. I am currently on my way to the venue right now. It's currently like 2.40 so I should have already been there by now but I still like I'll still get there before the cutoff time so it's okay. Okay right. guys so we're here at the Nile concert. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't vlogged anything because there's a strict no camera rule so but I don't get kicked out. Yeah. Calista just met him. Just oh met God. him. You guys met him. And they're oh, his BFF. The prince in the castle. I, I, I told him, I'm like, you're the prince in this. He kept the talking castle. about Disney. And I know oh, so I was like, 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 Oh my gosh. I was, I was like, like no. Also, I was like, I love your Reeboks. And he's like, what? You, he's like, that was you too? Yes. Yeah. Everything he said was you guys. So they basically talked to Niall the whole sound check. That's After their meet and greet, <laughs> you guys were having so much like every single song he's saying they were like having so much fun and like I was like yes, so that was so much fun. Jenna's me, hey, yeah, literally me. No, that was me when he came on stage. Like I was like he's so close, cool. so I was about to cry, but I was like all by myself. So I was like mm, if I start crying, these people are really gonna judge me. So I was like hold yes. it together. He's so small. Like I didn't realize how small he was until. That's what I said. So I'm like he's. So
Saturday next time. As the kids say, it's popping off. Everyone having a good time so far? That's all we came for, a good time, and we're going to keep having it. This, um, this next tune is um, a song by my one of my favourites of all time, a guy called Bruce Springsteen. This gun's for hire even if we're dancing in it all
I love you lots, and I'll see you soon. This is Mary's. She closed the door. She hides behind the face. Nobody knows she feels the skin. Concert, so I need some vlog uh, footage. Need some content. Yeah. Um, let me give you the tea. He puts on such a good show, and I've missed him so much. Love Kansas City. Oh, he really wow. does. What I have to say is, go off, sis. Uh -huh. Um, I haven't really vlogged anything while I've been here, but that's because when I went through security, they told me to go put my camera in my car because I wasn't allowed to have it. But I told them I didn't drive here, so I didn't have a car here with me. So they said I could have it, but if it came out of my bag, they would kick me out. Uh, so I never took it out of my bag. And then during the concert, it was like, everybody has cameras. They're not gonna kick me out. The same thing happened at the Harry concert. So I was like, whatever. So I literally like, didn't vlog the whole day for nothing. But I mean, I could have gotten kicked out before the concert. I really didn't I miss much. I couldn't even have my phone out. So my band is so cute Aww. too. Me neither. I'm gonna wait until it disintegrates so, off me. I just like wasn't able to vlog a lot. But then once the concert started, I saw a lot of other people with cameras. So I was just like. So I just risked it and it ended up being fine. So I probably could have vlogged and now I just really am upset because probably would have been fine to vlog. Although I did vlog a tiny bit, um, a teeny tiny bit, literally like two seconds after sound check, we were all talking about it. And um, anyways, so I'm really sorry that, I mean, most of, I'm sure most of you guys probably clicked on this for the actual concert, so you probably don't care that there wasn't much before that, and I couldn't vlog during sound check anyways. I will talk about my sound check experience tomorrow, because right now it's like midnight, and I have an 8 a.m. class tomorrow. I'll get on here tomorrow, and I will kind of talk about my sound check experience, and kind of like talk about that since I wasn't able to vlog during it, but like basically I got there and kind of waited for sound check, and then I did the sound check, and then I waited around for a few hours for the concert to start, and my friends to get there and join me. So I really wasn't doing much. There really wasn't really much to vlog. Okay, really quickly, I just wanted to talk about the sound check experience at the Nile concert. First of all, no phones, no cameras. First, first of all, I just got dropped off. I didn't drive myself because all my friends um, we're not at the soundtrack with me. I was just going solo. Um, originally I was going with one of my friends, but she could not make it back from college. It would have been a lot more fun with friends. So that kind of like took away from the experience a little bit. And I did have some friends there, but they were all meet and greet. So I was like separated from them. Come with your ticket or with your questions for Niall already written. I don't, I don't know if by the time I post this, there will even be any tour dates left. I don't know if there'll be like sound checks for next tours. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this as if it's like advice and helpful. But I mean, you want to come with your questions already written out, which does tell you in 
the email um but you kind of just drop them in a box so they don't really pay attention so honestly i could have probably written out like five questions for Niall if i wanted to which i wish i would have because i would have had a better chance of getting picked also if you want to like do something fun one of the girls on mine um had hers laminated with like an irish flag i think on the back and he picked that one because or they picked i don't think he necessarily picked them but they picked that one um because it was different and it stood out and he even made a huge comment he was like oh you knew i picked yours because like had the irish flag and it laminated and he was like asking her where she got it laminated and why she went to that much trouble and i think hers got picked because of that so if you want to do something fun and do like an irish flag on the back or a picture of niall like do something fun with your question like do a picture mine was the last minute i didn't have time to do that um but maybe like do something like that and i think you'd have a really good chance of getting picked after you drop your question off get your lanyard do check in um then you get in line and you're gonna stand out there for quite a while the check-in is from 2:45 to 3:45. So pretty much if you get there early until 3.45, you're going to be just waiting out there, standing outside in line. You get let into like the venue, you go through security, um, ticket scanned, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you wait. We waited by this fountain for like, um, I feel like I, I think it was at least 30 or 45 minutes. I was looking at my watch, but I think it was at least 30 or 45 minutes. I think it was 4.30 or 4.45, maybe even like 5 o'clock before the sound, before, um, we even moved from that place and then we went into the actual venue and the first like two i think it was the first two or three rows were reserved for meet and greet and like like actual vip people and then um the next few rows were actual like just the sound check people and it was only the first um it's only the first i want to say five maybe seven no more than the first 10 rows of like just the middle section of the very small venue that I was at. Very, very small amount of people. So the capacity of the venue I was at was like 8,000 and I would say there was probably no more than 150 of us at Soundcheck. Two or 300 would be my guess. I don't know. It, it sounds like a lot of people, but it really seemed like nothing when you were in the venue and you see like this whole entire 8,000 of empty seats and then it's just like five rows. So then you're there and it, everybody's just freaking out because they're like, oh my gosh, I've never been this close. Like everybody's like row three, row five, like everybody's just freaking out because they're literally so close. Like it seems so close. Like I've had really close floor seats and I was freaking out. The first three rows are still empty. Nobody's there from the meet and greet. It's just the sound check people. And then one by one, the meet and greet people come in crying and screaming and you realize they just met Niall. So that's kind of what happens. And then it's like 10 or 15, maybe 20 minutes of us sitting there and just like the meet and greet people trickling in slowly from having just met him and people are crying, people are screaming, people are, you know, running and dancing and just crazy. It was just so exciting for everybody else in the soundtrack. We were all just like so happy for everybody. Once Niall kind of peeked out from the stage, everybody went crazy and then eventually he came out and it was just shocking to see him so close like i really wish i had a picture or a video or something um i'm gonna have to come back because my nail appointment's starting right now for the lighting change it's quite a bit later now um yeah i was still pretty shook by how close i was to him i just like kind of wanted to burst into tears to be honest like i was just like i'm so close it was just really personal like he was just talking to everybody um especially the people that were in the first row so um the people that had meet and greets that hadn't gotten there super early in the morning that were like first in line people had gotten like front row they all changed. He was really talking to them the whole time. Like my friend Calista had gotten there at like, I think noon, like the best seats. Cause she was like center front row. And he just like talked to her the whole time. Like literally the whole entire sound check was just like a conversation like between him and like mostly people in the front row. Um, obviously people in the third and fifth row, it was just like, I mean, I'm sure like he wouldn't ignore anybody, but they were just like not really talking to him as much because it was just like he probably wouldn't really hear them as much. Just very, very personal. Like I remember her telling him how he she liked to shoot. Like I don't even, I wish I had a video because I don't even know how to describe how just personal it was. Just like a conversation. Like it was like we were literally just hanging out with Niall. Sound check was um, probably maybe like 45 minutes. That's, that's a complete guess. Like he sang three songs. Um, he did talk a lot, answer a lot of questions. Um, so I would guess 30 to 45 minutes is, uh, and it's a complete guess, like I said, so I really don't know. Um, even like when he was answering questions, people just shout stuff out. It was like a very large classroom setting. People just yell stuff out and he would just yell stuff back. People would say, I love you. And he'd say, I love you too. Obviously in a normal concert, that would just never happen. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I definitely recommend, um, like in the future, if Niall does sound check again, or if Harry does sound check, or if anybody else does sound check, 
I would personally purchase soundtrack tickets again 110% just getting that like personal experience was amazing So I would definitely get soundtrack again. I don't regret getting them at all It was one of the best experiences of my life as far as concerts um, I wish I could get soundtrack for every concert to be honest I really wish I could have like filmed it But I think that's why it was so cool was just the fact that everybody was so in the moment because Nobody could film, nobody could be on their phones. Um, I think that's that was what was kind of like so special about it. That's kind of like what the soundtrack was, in case you were curious. I was really curious before I went to the soundtrack. I was really curious like what it was going to be. You guys enjoyed. Um, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. It was amazing. This one was just really fun and i feel like you was just really had a good time at this show that was the video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed if you're watching this before your nile concert i hope you have an amazing time if you're watching this post nile concert um i hope you had an amazing time thank you guys so much for watching if i'm talking quietly it's because my whole family's in bed and it's like midnight make sure to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed i'll talk to you guys soon bye